Hello, Jason. Welcome back to another episode. Hello, hello. Today, I got you something really nice. Oh, this looks like a nice square little box. How about we find out? All right, let's unwrap. All right. All right, we got the Cooler Master MM710 today. That's right. They call it the Master Mouse MM710. Oh, it looks like another one of those honeycomb shell mouses, so I'm expecting it to be super light. It does say 53 grams on the top here. I can't remember off the top of my head what the other ones were, but it's pretty light. Oh, and there you go. There's a lot of information on the back there as well. Something that really stands out is there are Omron switches on this mouse as well on the left and right click. I think you showed me what those were last time. <laughs> All right, let's get this thing open. Manual sticked a bit there. All right, so there's the manual, you know, the usual, usual. We're gonna pull it out now, Ricky. <laughs> okay, open it up. You gotta slow it down even more. There we have it. The Cooler Master MM710. Holy moly. It feels like there's nothing sitting on my hand right now. You know like, you know like one of those plastic foam balls that feels so light? It feels even lighter than that. <laughs> I don't know why that's the first thing that comes to mind, but it's even like lighter than that. And actually, it, look how small it is compared to my hand. So right away, um, the feel of it is like a hard plastic. I guess it's because it's much more lighter, but it does feel durable still. Like when I'm pressing it, it doesn't feel like it's gonna break on me. What's also interesting here is that it has three mouse feet instead of the usual four, and they're actually very smooth. We've seen these set of mouse feet before, although differently shaped, these are the same white PTFE mouse feet. Oh, okay. So we've seen this in the Glorious before? Yes. Okay, that's what it reminded me of. Oh, that's a nice sound feedback I like. You hear that? Very smooth, very subtle. It's not too distracting, yet you get an instant response when you click. That's right. Like you showed me in the last Cheap vs. Cheap Mouse episode, this does use the Omron switches. Oh, and I just burned through five of those clicks. <laughs> <laughs> now, also the buttons there, I noticed there are two on the side over here, as well as one right below the scroll wheel. I'm assuming that's for the DPI. It did say it has 16K DPI. Oh, yes. Now that is a grippy scroll wheel. All right, and now finally we got to the cable. Oh my God, this cable is so long. <laughs> Jeez. This mouse actually figures six feet of their special cable. They call this the Ultra Weave cable. Damn, that's so long. You ever I'm not <laughs> sure about that one. <laughs> <laughs> I can definitely tell it's an ultra weave cable because it does feel like it's knitted almost. So what does that mean when you use it? It's very smooth. Doesn't seem like it will tangle easily. And also it seems pretty resistant. As for the USB itself, it is gold plated. Oh, there's a slight tint of purple. I guess Corsair, or uh, is it Corsair? Cool master. Shit. I guess Cooler Master really wanted to give it that aesthetic look. Maybe Corsair too. <laughs> <laughs> Subtle detail here. There's a Cooler Master label on the USB as well. Oh, cool. And there's a Cooler Master holding the USB. <laughs> <laughs> so the Master Mouse MM710 features the best sensor on the market. It uses the 3389. I have no idea what that means. <laughs> Let's just say most of the end game mouse we have been using, they feature the 3366. It's very hard to tell the difference between the two. In technical terms, this should perform slightly better. This one uses 3389 over 33. 66? I don't, know what, I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Can we play Fortnite already? <laughs> Crunker.io the heck is Crunker.io? I don't know, that sounds like a scam website. <laughs> Why is it a .io? Where's the .com? Man? Let's go to FFA Berg 2 of 8. Berg 2 of 8, got him. All right. I joined. I'm in too. We in. Oh, I can choose a different class though. Let's go with the Hunter class. Dude, what is this? Man? Oh! oh. I 
gotcha. <laughs> oh, Oh no! <laughs> okay, this Blaze guy is a hacker. Unwrap team, unwrap viewers. Go get this guy. I got him. Oh no! Oh. Oh, oh my god. Oh, nice turn. So what did you think? Dude, this mouse is a beast, man. It's super ultra lightweight and it's easy to flick, making those shots easy to land if you have high sensitivity. Personally for me though, my hands are a little larger and so the mouse is really small, so it's a little hard to hold. But if you're a claw grip user, I think this mouse would be the perfect fit for you. All right, Ricky, so here comes the real question. How much did this bad boy cost? This bad boy goes for $50 on the market. Isn't that like the same price as the Glorious? That's right. As usual, links are in the description below if you want to check it out. But for now, we have the top comment of the day. The top comment of the day goes to Shrinky, who says, does this mean that Unwrap is back? And I'll let Ricky answer that one. Hell yeah, Unwrap is back. 